sexual reproduction sexual reproduction involves the formation of the male and female gametes either by the same individual or by different individuals of the opposite sex these gametes fuse to form the zygote which develops to form the new organism because of the fusion of the male and the female gametes sexual reproduction results in offsprings that are not identical to the parents or amongst themselves here you can see the male and the female individuals the female produces the egg and the male produces the male gamete which is the sperm and they fuse together to form the zygote and the zygote then develops to form the embryo plants animals or fungi though they differ so greatly in external morphology internal structure and physiology during sexual reproduction they share a similar pattern here this is an example for the plant the animal and the fungi all organisms have to reach a certain stage of growth and maturity in their life before they can reproduce sexually that period of growth is called the juvenile phase it is also known as a vegetative phase in plants the end of juvenile or vegetative phase which makes up the beginning of the reproductive phase can be seen easily in the higher plants when they come to flower the major events in the reproductive phase are flowering in plants and breeding in animals flowering in plants in higher plants the reproductive phase is marked by the onset of flowering different plants take different time to produce flowers sexually there are two types of flowering monocarpic plants and polycarpic plants in monocarpic plants plants which flower only once in their lifetime after producing the fruits they die all annual plants like wheat rice and the biennial plants like radish carrot are monocarpic here you can see the rice plant and the wheat plant which are monocarpic plants and the biennial plants which consists of the radish and the carrot all these are monocarpic some plants exhibit unisexual flowering phenomena unisexual means the flowers contains only one type of the reproductive organ either the male part or the female part for example some bamboo species flower only once in their lifetime generally after 50 to 100 years produce large number of fruits and then they dies another example is strobilus strobilanthus kuntiana in malayalam it is known as neelakurinji they belongs to the family acanthaceae flowers once in 12 years the mass flowering of neelakurinji converted large hilly areas of kerala karnataka and tamil nadu into blue stretches that attracted a large number of tourists this is the bamboo plant they flowers and then produce the fruits after that they dies this is strobilanthus kuntiana neelakurinji they produce the flowers once in 12 years polycarpic plants plants which flower every year or season after attaining certain maturity are called polycarpic plants most of the perennial plants are polycarpic example mango tree jackfruit tree 
orange, grape wine, etc. Some perennial herbs bear flowers throughout the year. Example, China rose. Mango tree, the jackfruit tree, orange tree, grape wine and this is the herb, the China rose which live for many years. Breeding in animals. In animals, the juvenile phase is followed by morphological and physiological changes prior to active reproductive behavior. In animals, including human beings, these changes in their body are the indicative of reproductive maturity. The duration of reproductive phase is varied in different organisms. On the basis of periodicity of breeding, animals are of two types, seasonal breeders and continuous breeders. Seasonal breeders, animals which reproduce at a particular period of the year are called seasonal breeders. Example, frog, lizard, deer, most birds and most natural and wild animals. Birds living in nature lay eggs only seasonally. The birds in poultry farms can be made to lay eggs throughout the year by hormonal treatment. In this case, laying eggs is not related to reproduction, but it is a commercial exploitation for human welfare. Continuous breeders Animals which continue to breed or reproduce throughout their lifespan of sexual maturity are called continuous breeders. Example, mice, rabbit, honeybee queen, cattle, etc. Cyclic changes in reproductive phase of mammals. In placental mammals, the female shows cyclic changes in the activities of ovaries, accessory ducts and hormones throughout their reproductive phase. There are two types of cyclic changes in mammals, estrous cycle and menstrual cycle. In estrus cycle, it is the cyclic changes that are found during the reproductive phase in non-primate mammals. Example for the non-primate mammals are buffalo, sheep, rats, deers, dogs, cats, tiger, etc. Estrus cycle consists of a short period of estrus or heat which lasts for 18 hours in cow, about a week in dog and cat followed by a passive period. During the heat period, the females has a very high blood level of estrogen and develop strong sex heat. During this period, the female receives the male for copulation. At the end of estrus, the lining of the reproductive tract is sloughed off. There is no menstruation. The sloughed off tissues are absorbed. During the passive period, females does not receive the male. The seasonally breeding animals spent most of the year in passive period of reproduction. 
menstrual cycle the cyclic changes that are found during the reproductive phase in primate mammals is called menstrual cycle example for primate mammals are monkeys apes and human senescent phase it is the post reproductive phase in which there is deterioration of structure and physiology of the body that increases the chances of natural death with the passing of time senescence is defined as the period between reproductive maturity and death of the organism the efficiency of all body organs and tissues decreases during this period the end of the reproductive phase can be considered as one of the parameters of senescence or old age annual plants and biennial plants show a clear vegetative reproductive and senescent phases but in perennial plants it is very difficult to clearly distinguish such three phases trees do not show the process of physiological degeneration in trees some parts die and some new appear the number of annual rings seen in the oldest part of a tree in a cut stem corresponds to the age of the trees in years this is the annual ring of a plant each ring express the growth during one growth period so by counting these annual rings you can identify the age of the tree hormones are responsible for the transitions between the three phases in plants and animals the hormones and certain environmental factors interact to regulate the reproductive processes and the associated behavioral expression of the organisms so in this session we have learned what a sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is the fusion of the male and the female gametes to produce the new individual here the two parents are involved and they are of opposite mating types mainly there are three phases in the life of a human being or any organism they are the juvenile phase in the case of animals and vegetative phase in the case of plants followed by the reproductive phase which is followed by the senescent phase juvenile phase means all organisms they reach a certain stage of growth and maturity before they reproduce sexually that period is the juvenile or the vegetative phase the end of the juvenile phase or the vegetative phase is marked by the beginning of the reproductive phase the major events in the reproductive phase are flowering in plants and breeding in animals and then comes the senescent phase it is the period between the reproductive maturity and death of the organism on the basis of the periodicity of the breeding animals are of two types they are the seasonal breeders and the continuous breeders those organisms which breed in a particular seasons are the seasonal breeders and those animals which continue to breed throughout their life span of sexual maturity are the continuous breeders there are two types of cyclic changes in mammals they are the estrous cycle and the menstrual cycle 
the cyclic changes that are found during the reproductive phase in non primate mammals are the estrous cycle and the cyclic changes that are found during the reproductive phase in primate mammals are called the menstrual cycle